I think this is a world-class program, and the reason I think that is because um, in the Dallas Independent School District, we have world-class programs uh, in the proposal for the Amazon headquarters that's coming. Mm -hmm. Our computer science uh, program for our schools, in other words, all eighth graders leaving a Dallas ISD middle school have either computer science and or robotics under their belt. They all have opportunities to get four computer science courses as a senior before they go to college. And now, uh, every single elementary school, pre-K through five, is having computer science as part of their core curriculum. So my understanding is that is now inside of the Amazon proposal. Um, our first 30 schools, or 500 educators, were trained with code.org, you know, the hour of code. Uh, they do an hour uh, a year, we do an hour about uh, every week. And so that's the, the level of the Dallas Independent School District and the world class that we're talking about. This program is also very important because there's a lot of research that, that tells you things that happen outside the classroom, you remember. Uh, you know, you can't remember page 45 of your textbook, okay? I don't think many of you remember that. But you remember you were in a debate team, you remember going to the regionals, you remember going to the zoo. I remember a cold day uh, last year. I had a hat on, I had my uh, scarf and everything because it was chilly and I came to walk STEM. I remember the pastries, the coffee. Uh, and if you were there, you remember that too. I remember the coats everybody was wearing and then it got warm, so everybody took. I remember that day. Now you ask me, do you remember any of that day? It's vague. But because that was outside of the school day, outside of your norm, it really impacts you. And so a program like this, if a student, you don't know the trajectory that it'll, this, might, this will change a lot of tra uh, trajectories for students. And that's why that's very important. And um, in the words of NCTM, uh, learning mathematics outside the classroom is not enrichment. Please get that out of your mind, it's not enrichment. It is at the core of empowering a student's understanding of the subject. Students may not only experience mathematics in a concrete and real world setting, but can be liberated and sometimes uh, res uh, restrictive expectations of the classroom. As a result, you can expect to find the following benefits. And these are all the benefits that when, I, when you talk about talk STEM and walk STEM, higher levels of motivation, almost limitless resources. Until I went on that walk, I, just like everybody else, did not understand the number of resource, resources out there. An opportunity to see math as cross-curricular, greater curiosity leading to more effective exploration, creative ideas driving in investigations, meaningful applications of problem-solving strategies and thinking skills, a heightened sense of purpose and relevance, the all-important bridge between theory and uh, reality, greater independence and improvement attitude of learning, and a realization that our environment offers opportunity for learning and enjoyment. So I know partnerships are hard, but Koshi makes this partnership very easy. And that's why uh, we have our teachers trained, and we have our schools participate in Walk STEM because we know how important this is, and we know how much of a world-class program this is. Thank you. For those of you who are unfamiliar with our organization, we are the private partnership for eight all-girls public schools in Texas. I'm sure you've heard of Irma Rangel a Young Women's Leadership School, so that is actually one of our uh, schools here in Dallas. Now, we focus on STEM programming and STEM enhancement for our students. Uh, we all know that in sixth grade or so, girls start to just kind of draw away from anything to do with STEM, and then they don't follow through to a STEM career, so there's a lack in women in all these STEM careers. And so what we really, really enjoyed and really liked was when our students from Irma Rangel were able to do a walk STEM tour, and it brought new insight and perspective. They were able to actually see how you know, science, technology, engineering, mathematics were able to just build all these skyscrapers or even the arts behind it, which a lot of our students enjoy. And so it was a new perspective that our students received and that wouldn't be possible without Walk STEM. And it gave them a new appreciation for our city. So a lot of our students were like, I didn't actually realize what was around our city and how it takes all of these people and then it also gave them the potential and they were like, you know, I can actually do something like this. This is something I'm interested in and I really like the engineering behind this and I never focused on the math behind any of these sculptures. So it's not just, you know, those skyscrapers or measuring on the floor, it's also that art impact that a lot of our girls really, really enjoy and then they enter into those STEM careers in the future. So thank you so much, Coach. We really appreciate it and bringing that light into our community and especially our schools. Thank you. Thank you. From all of you here at the Zuma Marion, thank you for being here. I'm excited for everyone to learn about all the opportunities 
um, here with Koshi and Walk and Top STEM. Uh, I'm the Interim Director of Education at the DMA and also the Head of Family Access and School Experiences. And until the past couple of years, we've never thought about STEM and how to incorporate that into the, the art museum. It's really helped me to look at art in a, through a completely different lens, one that um, I'm still learning. And um, we have uh, a partnership here with the uh, Irma Rangali Young Women's Leadership School. And uh, we're going into the fourth year of that partnership, and they, the, the, the students come here um, three times a year for a three-hour intense visit in the galleries, and we focus on uh, STEAM principles with them. Um, last year, we started offering a STEAM student tour with our docents, and we have a core of docents that we call our STEAM docents, and they, we train them to um, think in new ways about works of art, but this past year of getting to know Koshi, I, um, I, I realized, you know, I'm surrounded here by other art educators who also, for the most part, we went into the arts because we, no offense to anyone, but did not like <laughs> math. Um, so I really value this partnership so much because I think Koshi is going to help really, I mean, she already has, but we really improve what we are offering that and help to give us the confidence to say we offer a STEAM tour. Um, so we're working to revise our STEAM school tour with Koshi. She is coming in this, later this month actually to train our docents on um, STEM and how to, kind of the history of it, sort of a STEM 101, and, and then how to look at various works of art through um, science, technology, engineering, math lens. And it's, um, we are going to, we have plans to develop a, a, pop, a walk STEM pop-up gallery experience for our permanent galleries. We're looking to our summer art camps to um, figure out how we can incorporate more STEM into those. And um, we're just really excited to be part of this initiative. So thank you and welcome to the DMA. at the Perot Museum, and I have been a docent since the Walk STEM launch on Pi Day. It was very chilly. I do remember that quite well. Um, and so I think from hearing everyone who spoke today and also seeing the video, it's pretty obvious what a huge impact our docents can have on the community, on students, on families. Um, but I wanted to share just a few thoughts on how being a docent has impacted me um, as just a person and also as an informal educator. So in addition to doing some of the walks, um, I also have just had so many great professional learning opportunities for me, not only being trained by Dr. Whitney at that first training day where he kind of walked us through how to look at the world with a mathematical lens, but I was also able to participate with Jonathan and just a handful of other docents. Um, when Dr. Whitney was here, I think it was about six of us, um, we were able to design our own walk for the Dallas Festival of Ideas. So it was a few walks um, or in a few stops right around the Dallas City Hall Plaza. So he was able to mentor us through that process and help guide us on how we can create our own walk so that we're able to take that experience and teach others. Um, and it really is true what everyone's been saying today. I cannot walk into a space anymore without noticing shapes, without noticing when there's a grid line on a slope so that we can calculate the slope of that ramp. Um, you really, you can't turn it off once you start looking at the world this way. Um, and I have taken that back to my programming at the museum. Anytime I'm working on something that's usually starting out science, technology, engineering based, that math somehow kind of sneaks in now in a way that it never did before. So it's really impacted my professional learning. It's also um, been a great way for me to engage with one of my main audiences, which is our teachers. Um, I work very closely with the professional development team at the museum, who's a lot of them are here today. Um, so I'm able to really talk to them, um, teachers both who are other docents and who are able to come to things like we did a walk STEM workshop with our Cosmos Professional Development Institute um, and getting to know what they want, what they need um, in terms of STEM, in terms of math, in terms of science, what they need from the informal education environment too. So that's also been a great learning process for me, getting to know more of the formal educators that I serve. Um, and it's also just been a whole lot of fun, and the walks are really good for your step count on an otherwise yeah. lazy Saturday. Um, and it's really just amazing how it's trickled down. Um, we're reaching informal educators, formal educators, families, kids, 
And um, I talked to a lot of the teachers after we did our workshop um, at Fair Park, you saw a picture of that, and they've already brought it to their classrooms, they're really excited, they're teaching their students. So it really, it starts with a few people and it really spreads across the whole community. So it's been a really great experience, I think, for the kids and families we're reaching and also everyone of us involved. So if you're thinking about getting involved, um, there's some selfish reasons why you should too. It's been a really great experience for me as well, um, giving others this experience. So I thank Koshi for letting me be a part of it.